what is up? It's your girl Chicly here back at it with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I pretty much transformed this wig. So this hair is their full lace wig. This is a 20 inch and this is from Yay Wigs or Yeah Wigs. Um, I'll leave all of their information down in the description box below. This hair was fully black, natural black when um, I received it and I went ahead and added some highlights within the hair, added some dimension. So the hair has like blonde, um, a high blonde, a dark brown, brown and black. So I feel like, you know, this hair looks really good and I think I did a pretty good job with these highlights. Um, yeah. Throughout the video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I pretty much transformed this and how I went from this to this. So um, I just added some like nice Hollywood waves to the hair just to make it look, I, f I felt like the curls, the waves would make the color stand out even more, which it did. Um, yeah, so throughout the video, I'll be sharing with you guys my input about this hair and if I like it, if I don't like it, the pros and cons throughout the video. And um, yeah, so before we get into the video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment down below. And also, if you guys have not seen my um, most recent video, I shared with you guys that I'm doing a 10K back to school makeup giveaway. And if you guys wanna know the rules, then you guys need to go and watch that video. And you guys can comment under this one or that one, whichever one you prefer. So yeah, check the description box for the rules and also check the description box for everything else you need to know about this hair um so yeah with that being said let's just get into this video alrighty love so as you guys can see the hair is a complete mess um I colored and bleached well I didn't color this hair I did bleach this hair with 30 volume developer I think I think it was 30 or 20 volume developer I just went ahead and went in with some highlights again this hair did come fully um, black this is a natural black 20 inch full lace unit and um, like I said I received the hair in its natural black state and this is their loose wave texture so after I washed this hair, um, not gonna lie, I did, you know, leave it just sitting around for a little bit just because I felt like, you know, it wasn't my favorite hair. So I did leave it around um, and then I decided to just take it back out, make another, so it can make another appearance, try to redeem itself. And um, I decided to share with you guys how I pretty much transformed this wig. So as you guys can see, I'm just going in with my hot comb after I applied some uh, waxing. And then just going in on that part, um, the wax stick. And I'm just going in on that part with my tweezer, cleaning it up. Just making it a little bit wider, a bit more natural looking because I felt like the knots on this frontal unit was a bit too tight if you guys get what i'm saying like there was just way too much hair on the frontal the frontal was very thick and um yeah it was just a lot of hair it's a very thick frontal so i really did have to pluck a lot and um one thing that i noticed about this unit is that the lace turned green i don't know why um, I did not attempt to tint the lace at all. All I did was just um, bleach the knots on this frontal unit just like how I do every frontal and it turned the lace green. I don't know if you guys can see it through the camera but um, yeah the frontal turned green and I pretty much did my best with trying to hide the lace and trying to make it look as natural as possible. There's only so much that you can do with um a unit if the frontal isn't up to par so I am going in with tweezing um, the hairline just to make it a bit more natural because I am gonna add just a little bit of baby hairs just to make it more natural and I'm going in with concealer on the part and I'm just creating my baby hairs and I'm just dipping into the gel on the back of my hand and creating my baby hairs forming them shaping them 
and taking them out of pretty much the hair that I already have in the front. I am going to go in with a pair of scissors and cut off any long extra um, pieces of hair that just is too long to be a baby hair as you guys can see right there. So I am going to go ahead and take care of that sooner or later. Um, one thing I do have to say about this hair, I feel like this hair took the bleach very well. Um, the hair is a bit coarse as expected because um, adding bleach on any hair texture um, changes the texture of the hair regardless what type of hair it is, regardless of how good the hair may be. But um, the hair texture will change. For the most part, we try to make it feel like how it felt before we bleached it. But um, as for this hair, I feel like it took pretty well. The hair did not feel coarse at all. I felt like it took the curls pretty well as much as possible and as well as the heat um, that I added to the hair. So I'm just sectioning out the hair and adding my clip in just to move whatever hair I'm not working with out the way. And I'm going in with my comb coming through first and then using my wand iron and I'm just adding some spiral curls to my hair I wanted to create some like big body waves so that um, the color throughout the hair can be shown more with the style of waves so um, yeah so yay wigs is an affordable hair company the hair is very affordable I would recommend that you guys try their bundles I'm not so sure about the frontal. I won't recommend you guys getting a frontal unit. As you guys can see, the full lace unit is a bit too big for my head. You guys can see it in the back. Um, it doesn't fit, and I did not glue this unit down. I just added an elastic band to the unit just so that I did not have to glue it down. And I could literally just put it on, and just the middle part, like... From the end of my eyebrow to the other end of my eyebrow would be secured and not so much the air tabs so that's pretty much all I did I didn't want to glue anything down so I just added the adjustable strap and I just went in and continued to style my hair but yeah I would suggest that you guys get the bundles instead of getting a frontal or a closure or anything like that because my experience with their frontal is that it's going to turn green and I don't know why. Maybe it's just this one or, you know, whatever the case may be. But I'm just letting you guys know my experience with the hair itself. And that is that the hair, the knots on the frontal oxidize to a green tint. Usually that happens when you tint the hair. But, I mean, I guess it just did that all by itself. So I'm definitely not a fan of... The frontal but I definitely do like the bundles I feel like you know they still felt pretty good I added some um, moisturizing oil to the hair just so that it can look a bit more nourished and feel softer and have a bit more shine and take the curls better as well so um, yeah overall I think the hair is pretty good I just again will not recommend you guys getting the frontal unit and I will not recommend you guys buying frontals from them but if you're looking for cheap affordable bundles then you guys can definitely 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 go ahead and check them out um if you don't know or if you have not seen the platinum blonde video that I have up on my channel that hair is also from them and I had a completely different experience with that texture hair and um, just the styling of the hair than this one um, if you guys have not seen that video I will link it down in the description box below or you could just wait until this video was over and you guys can go check it out on your own but um, that hair was 613 hair and I toned it and when I tell you guys that the hair is completely soft usually it's the other way around being that the hair is so light you would expect for it to be a bit more coarse and a bit more rough but it was the complete opposite that hair is still good till this day and I absolutely love that hair I'm just not sure about this so actually yeah you guys I forgot all about that frontal unit so I would suggest that you guys get um 
a frontal because the 613 frontal that I made out of the unit did really, really, really good. It didn't turn green. It didn't oxidize to any other color. It did pretty good. Um, I'm guessing it's just their frontal units because, yeah, that happened with this one. But, um, yeah, if you guys have not seen that video, then definitely go and see it. The hair is amazing. I loved it. It worked very well. And, yeah. So, I'm just going in with my curling iron and finishing up that side. I finished up the other side already. And it doesn't look too bad to me. Um, I really just wanted to see how well I was able to make this wig look better and I think I did pretty good I think I did really 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 good so I'm almost finished up with um, working on this side I think the, the curls came out pretty good as well as you guys can see the hair is taking the heat and the curls really really well really well yeah so I'm gonna go ahead do my makeup and then I'll be back and I'm ready to comb it out. So as you guys can see, I added some oil to the hair just to make it shine and a bit more smoother. I'm just working it in, making sure that the hair is saturated with it. And showing you guys the curls. It looks really nice. The hair formed together in a very nice way. Yep, just working that in and then I'm gonna go in with my comb and this is my favorite part I love just combing through curls and making them all form in one direction. I just love the outcome of this hair and Yeah All right, love, so that completes this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, then you know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Comment down below. And before we go, today's motivational quote is, set your affection on things above and not things on the earth. So with that being said, I will see you loves in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. And don't forget to enter the giveaway, all you gotta do is check the description box down below and go ahead and leave your comments down below. That way you guys can enter and I can pick a winner. Don't forget the giveaway is over at the end of September. So guys, get to work. I wanna see um, the support and I wanna see the excitement from you guys because this is my first giveaway. So um, yeah, I'll see you loves in my next video. Bye.